done and dusted. So remember guys, get out there and get that exercise in. Okay, so I know yesterday's vlog was really heavy focused on the shipping aspect of what I do on eBay. Um, but I'm going to quickly walk you through my process of making a list um, to ensure that I hit up, you know, the most um, promising op shops that there is. If you're in Australia, I use this website called opshop.org and it's awesome. It literally lists all the op shops in Australia. So I just go to my local area. Shush, will ya? And I look up all the op shops and make a list. So all I do is email myself the list of the addresses um, and then all I've got to do then is copy and paste them like so, copy and then paste it into Google Maps. It's really straightforward to use Google Maps, most of you should already know this and then all you do is paste the address in there and Bob's your uncle. Right, so as you can see it's a beautiful day out but it's not a kind of day to be wearing a button front real thick shirt, so I'm wearing this. Hey, what's good guys? So, I'm at the front of a Savers. Um, it's pretty familiar with these videos if you guys watch them. So I'm about to head in and see what we get. So something terrible just happened. I forgot my card, I drove all the way to that savers and I forgot my card. So I'm gonna drive for another 25 minutes to get back home, get my card. Ugh. Hey guys, so um, I didn't actually really wanna show you guys what I picked up, just because I didn't want it to turn into a ride along video. But it looks like this video is gonna be something like a ride along. So I'm gonna show you guys what I just picked up from this savers. Okay, so the first item was these pair of Jordans. Now, always make sure to look up the tag on Google. There's a number there, look up that number. There's a number there below the sizing. Look up that number and check to see if it's authentic. So I'll look these up and they're selling for about 50 or so dollars. I picked them up for 15. Pretty nice score there. There wasn't much on them. I think they're called the Jordan Aeros or whatever, something like that. However, the other item that I was gonna pop on was a pair of sneakers like these and they look like a pair of LeBrons. However, I looked up that number that was on the tag in Google and it came up with cheap Nikes. That means that they're fake. And they had $50 on these. I was going to pop on them because I thought maybe, because the last pair of LeBrons I sold were like 115 or something, so that it would have been it would have been worth picking up for about 50 But luckily I double checked because they were fakes. So always check that number, guys. The next pickup was a Burberry's long coat. I had $25 on this. It's not the best color, it's like a dark green. However, I popped on it for $25. It did have some stains at the bottom here, which was really unfortunate. I might be able to get that out, I'm not sure though. But these jackets, however, sell for like $100 plus. And the other item I picked up was this Ralph Lauren size large custom or classic fit um, long sleeve button front shirt. The good thing about this one is that it's corduroy. You can tell it's corduroy by those patterns right there. Um, and I've sold these in the past for about $30 to $35. Guys, so I'm sitting at the front of another Savers. Unfortunately, I didn't get to film um, some other pickups that I got. But I'm going to show you the stuff that I picked up from this other Savers. Now, it's actually like 7pm right now. And as you can see, the sun is setting behind me. So hopefully you can see me properly. But just finished at the front of this Savers right here. And um, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. I'm going to start off with the jackpot item that I picked up. So, as you can see right here, I've got a pair of Kobe Nikes. These are the Kobe VI or 6 China edition ones. And I was a bit skeptical when I looked up the number and realized that it was China because I thought it might have been fake or something. However, I paid $25 for these. You think that's quite a lot for a pair of shoes. These are in really good condition. If you saw in one of my previous videos, I actually picked up a pair quite similar. And um, those pair were from the same savers that I'm at right now, but they were black with a gold tick. I still haven't got to selling those yet, but check this out. See if I can take you to the sold listings. Check this out. I looked up Kobe VI China and look at the search results. $197.50, $210. These are all used too, by the way. We got $237. 177 $289 I cannot believe this this is ridiculous well it says here these ones have been worn twice so they're in really good condition not as good as mine so I'm looking at about 
I'd say about $250, 200 to $250 for these pair of shoes. What a score. All right, guys, so the next pickup I got was this Sony cassette player. Now, I'll try and get it out of the packaging and show you guys. Now, these were before my time. However, I picked it up. So what I did was I searched on the completed listings on eBay for Sony and then M730V. Um, I couldn't find anything. I think I found one exactly the same, but there was models like the 70, the 740, sorry, and the 800V that had sold for about $30 to $35, and I paid $3.99 for this one. So I'm going to put it up for about $30 or so. I've got to make sure to test it and everything, but I think it should be fine. Next item I popped on was this really nice Levi's denim jacket, button front, this is a bit unique. I'm not sure if you've seen this before, but this is a Levi's red tab, size medium. And if you look these up on the sold listings, especially in the men's clothing, the, the women's ones don't sell for much, but the men's ones, depending on the size. So as I said before my camera cut out, this is a size medium. And I paid $15 for this one, and they're selling for about $40 to $60. So I'm going to shoot for about 50 or so, and um, we'll see if we get it sold. I think I better start hitting up the women's section more often. I just walked past the women's section, and the Patagonia logo caught my eye. This is an amazing brand to pick up for clothing. It sells really well. Let's see if I can get a shot of the tag in there. So there it is. This is a women's size small. Um, it's kind of like a zip-up and button front, kind of like windbreaker waterproof jacket. They had $15 on this, and these are selling for about $50 or so. Hang on a second, what's that? Did you hear that? That's money! Okay. Oh, I feel money in here. How much have we got? There's 90 cents there, almost $1. I guess you could technically say I paid $14.10. everyone so you probably can't see me it's a bit dark here but i'm just editing a video for my youtube channel and i'm also eating dinner as well so that's it for today's vlog everyone thanks for watching remember like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one